Hello, Under Drummer here. Today we're going to check out something a little different. We're going to check out kind of a compilation of things. What madness is this, you ask? Well, it's a Apple II library that I found online at uh, archive.org. Kind of uh, neat. I used to play the Apple II back when I was younger and did a few checking outs on like Oregon Trail and uh, just recently last week, uh, Taipan, which um, I think both those games were used for uh, educational purposes. Uh, this is uh, all the educational Apple II games, or at least a lot of them. <laughs> so I thought we'd just go through here and kind of pick ones out at random and play them. Yes, we'll play this Robot Odyssey. <laughs> it's these ancient Apple II games, but they have this you know, next generation <laughs> power symbol. Boom! The contrast is hilarious. Sometimes these work, sometimes they don't. Oh, I've got to turn the sound off. This sounds awful. Robot Odyssey, Rotropolis, Innovation Lab. Okay, space to choose, return to go. Uh, oh, I get to pick, okay. Uh, robot wiring, sensors, to toolkit, robot circuits. Um, whoa, this is like real robotic stuff? Um, I, I just want to play a game. All right, let's look at robot anatomy. Insert the robot Odyssey program C disk. Okay, well that's not going to work. We can't do that one. Wizard of Words. Crack from the past. <laughs> crack by the safe cracker. Call Homer Brothers. Wonder what would happen if we called that right now. Oh, Jester Jumble, Castle Capers, Dragon Spell, Word Spinning, Harold's Hark. King Arthur, sound off or on. We already turned it off. Let's try the Jester's Jumble, please. Pew! <laughs> Some call me Tim. Oh, there's the Jester. He's a jumblin. Let's try the sound now. Oh, God. That's not that bad. Uh, do you want instructions? We better. Find the Jester's word by placing his letters in the right order. Escape to end the game. Return to play. Okay. Want to use your own word list? Um, I do not have my own word list, so no. Oops, I just did M. No. Which level do you want? Let's try the hardest. I'm pretty good at word jumbles, like the best I know, really. Put in the Royal Registry of Words. Okay. Oops, disc problem. Son of a bitch! We're not going to play the Jester Jumble? Oh, man. I'm trying this one again. Whoa! <laughs> did the words dragon spell just come out of his nose? I guess that's supposed to be fire. You want instructions? No, we're winging it. My name. Oh. Is there a second player? Not that I can see. Uh, six. Son of a bitch. Royal Registry of Words. Okay, we can't play this. We we do not own the Royal Registry of Words. I don't even know what that is. Some disc that uh, obviously has all the words for the, for the word wizard and the word wizard can't cast any spells without the royal registry of words. Multiplication table challenge. That's what I was doing. Three. You must try to answer as many questions as possible in the shortest amount of time. If your score is high enough, it will be placed in the multiplication hall of fame. Nice. Press the spacebar to continue. Can we make this full screen? Oh, that's kind of hard to read, but who's this Tara doll? She thinks she's a badass, huh? And I don't think that second name is a real name. I think somebody just kind of to, 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 to hit whatever they wanted on the keyboard. Which activity do you want? Multiplications, facts to nine. Going for it. Ready, set, go. Uh, we're, okay, five times five, 25. Five times two, 10. 15, we're gonna beat that Terra doll. I did! Yes! Oh, I didn't miss any! Alright, let's see a list. Enter the master registration table. How did I miss those? Would you like to print out these problems? No, I think I'll be okay. I just want to see my score, please. What? I... I'm third, but I got a score of 98. Oh, I was much faster though, 205. Look at that, 
faster by 49 seconds. I missed a couple of them. Well, I guess Terror will always be better than me. Let's move on. Uh, Broderbund. Now, they, they went on to do some really cool stuff, right? They did the Carmen San Diego thing, but they also did like a lot of strategy turn-based games, I think. We could go explore what Broderbund has done. Load Runner, Mist. Look at this. Karataka. Right, right? These are Broderbund, right? Yeah. Prince of Persia. Check it. See, I wouldn't lie. They did some shit. They did some good shit. Far Star. Let's check this out. This looks like it's going to be cool. 1984 by Random House. One to two players will learn addition and subtraction in this mix of an educational and action game. The disc belongs to K. All right. K owns this motherfucker. Don't mess around with it, L. Or J. Far Star. Oh, am I supposed to stop it? I, I, right away, I'm under pressure. <laughs> uh, ah! I want to do one. Enter space bar. This one. G, H, Q. Okay. I, I pick any of these. Whatever one you want me to do. You pick for me. No? Man, I want to play freaking Far Star. Come on! I guess we're moving on. Fuzzy. Fuzzy Womp? Learning with Fuzzy Womp? I, I gotta see that Sierra. Learning with Fuzzy Womp. Learning with Fuzzy Womp. Enter. Let the Fuzzy Womp begin. Whoa. This is like the Mega Man Select stage, I guess. Wow, look at this. They got the hex data for the game. Learning with Fuzzy Womp. They got the disk directory. This is crazy. Come on, I want to play Fuzzy Womp. How do I play Fuzzy Womp? Oh, I moved left. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I figured it out. We're going to play some golf, baby. It's the keypad. It's the number keypad. Numbers 1 through 9 float out of a hat, and the player must shoot them in the proper order. I see. What shoots? Oh, four shoots. Okay, that was the incorrect order. Oh, wow, you hold it down. It's badass. Bam. All right, I got to shoot one. Where's the one? There's one. Boom, blasted it. Whoa, he's really happy about that. Come on, two. The numbers are coming faster. Boom. Do your fuzzy womp dance. That's the fuzzy womp, fuzzy womp, womp. Come on, three. Looking for three. We gotta play something else. Sticky Bear Basic. Is this like is this like learning basic coding? And that could be neat. By Richard Hefter and Steve Worthington. I wrote a game, man. I made a game. A full game? Yeah, I made a game. Well, wh what'd you use? What engine did you use? What Sticky Bear Basic? I wrote it in Sticky Bear Basic. It's fucking amazing. You're welcome. Wow, this game's very polite. I'd like to get started, please. Let's learn about variables. Oh, here we go. And then we have a basic command line. Wow. Okay, so x equals 20. Oh, we have to type new. Oh, we can't back up like that. Okay. No, that's a syntax error. New. Now, x equals 20. All right. y equals 10. Now, Print x plus y. Oops. Damn it. Where's my print x plus y? 30. <laughs> we did some basic programming. Wow. Cool, man. That's awesome. Astro Grover. <laughs> that just sounds bad. Math Magic. Space Mission Problem Solving, Orange Cherry, delicious. I gotta check that one out, for sure. Journey to the fucking moon. <laughs> Space Mission Problem Solving, including graphics made with Take One and Blazing Paddles by Bodville. Okay. A, B, or C to choose program. Let's journey to the moon. A. Hey. Call to the sound effects.
Greetings, my name is X439. I am the computer that is controlling the spaceship. You have been traveling for 1,000 years in suspended animation. Everyone you know and love is dead. I have just received a distress call from a landing party on the moon. They are stranded and need our help. I therefore terminated your state of sleep. Thank you. Thank you for waking me up. Have you ever seen passengers, you son of a bitch? Oh, this is the uh, cockpit. I have to code your name for security. Type in your first name and press enter. I don't know who he's talking to since everyone else is dead. We have now landed on the moon. However, our space probe has designed to was designed to carry our original crew only. We will be able to return to the mothership with this added weight only by using your skills. Okay. We'll be doing some math here soon. I foresee some math in my future. You will be given 10 math problems. The probe will be able to escape the gravity of the moon if you get more than six problems right. This is scary. Wow. Talk about putting a lot of pressure on a kid. It's not just one person dying on the Oregon Trail. If you screw up on your math problems, you're destroying an entire civilization of people. You're the last person in this entire civilization. You want to save this space crew? You better not screw up on your math problems. I love the pressure they put on kids back in the 80s. All right. I'm going to save me a space crew. Type your answer, then press return. A man who weighs 186 pounds on Earth would weigh about 31 pounds on the moon. How many pounds has the man lost by traveling to the moon? Well, quite a bit, I would say. We got 31 minus 86. 55. 155 pounds. He lost 155 pounds. One, five, five. Come on, I don't want anyone to die. Wonderful. Reader, reader, reader. You. you are correct. On the moon, in one year, the sun shines on the same side for 26 weeks. All right. How many weeks will the sun shine on that same side in 10 years? All right. Well, just 26 times 10, right? Okay. 260. Boom. That's two space crew people we saved. An object on the Earth is six times heavier than on the Moon. This is really wow, well, very good actually. This is a uh, this is a, if I was a teacher, I'd get this game for my kids for sure. Forty two times five is two hundred and ten. Okay. Huh? The correct answer is forty two pounds. Oh, we're supposed to divide. Oh, I see. Oh, wow, that's embarrassing. Sorry about that, space crew man. We we just. It should, as soon as you get it wrong, it should show a picture of the guy who you failed to save that's like, You can't leave me here! You, you, you're monsters! Okay, I see. The correct answer is 42 divided by 6. All right. So if an object on the Earth is 6 times heavier than on the Moon, if an object is 42 pounds on the Earth, what will it weigh on the Moon? It's obviously lighter on the Moon, dude. What are you doing? You're not using your comprehension skills. Okay. Sorry about that. But it looks like one of you staying here. <laughs> Congratulations, you have made liftoff. We have made liftoff? You correctly answered eight questions out of ten and on your first try. This is a score of 80%. Oh, that's a pretty cool picture. <sighs> cool ship, too. Press return to continue. We journey to the moon. Now to land back on Earth, your skill will be needed again. <sighs> Answer these ten questions. Come on. You're getting old. It's going to be math questions. Oh, okay. More math questions. Whoa, these are big, too. All right. Well, that one's cool. Mathosaurus. Ticket to Paris. Newton's apple tooth decay. <laughs> Let's mix science and uh, personal care in one, <laughs> one rolled up in one fantastic game. Newton's apple tooth decay. Uh, the Lucier profile. What is that? That's just... I have to click on this just to know what the hell, what is that? Know your personality. Okay, this is some psychology thing that I'm not familiar with. Mindscape is another familiar name. They've made a lot of good games. Paperboy, Warhammer, <laughs> Dark Omen, wow, Shadowgate, remember that? That's a good one. Deja Vu, that's a good one. Fucking Captain Planet. They did all kinds of shit. Battle toads. Know your own personality. All right, let's learn my personality. Enter. Take the test. Yeah. Please enter your name. Okay. Let me put in my full name. Turn to test one in your booklet. Press any key to continue. Okay. 
Press the number of the one you like most. Oh, come on. I need a booklet for this. Can't you show me a picture here? We're just going to guess. Four. Second, zero. Third, four. <laughs> it says status, psychotic, <laughs> neurotic. Oh, my gosh. Test one completed. Okay. Turn to test two. Wow. This is going to be very, very boring. Oh, right. Here we go. Display the results. We're going to find out what kind of personality entering random inputs from the keyboard has. <laughs> your mood right now. You want to escape your current circumstances, which you find nerve-wracking, intolerable, and demanding. <laughs> By escaping, you hope to regain a state of psychological well-being through the resultant relief and liberation. Wow, that is eerily correct. <laughs> now, the only thing freakier is if it said, you randomly entered in answers. You don't even own the book, do you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Your needs, desires, and goals. You possess a quick and alert attentiveness. You seek new opportunities to prove your worth and competence. By proving your self-worth, you hope to bridge the gap between you and other people. You would like to appear outwardly objective and stable to hide your inner sensitivity. Wow. This is, this is crazy on. Like, this is bizarre. This is freaking me out a little bit. What motivates your behavior? You feel restless because your current situation isn't completely satisfying. You sense a lack of belonging and trust. You want to make more of your life and therefore reject depressing circumstances. You are impatient. You want to get away and change your current circumstances. Wow. How you handle inner conflicts. You're concerned about the immediate future because you fear your so expectations they can't lead to a painful conflict. You spend most of your time playing old educational games on the computer via the internet. Weird.